Hello friends, welcome back to Z Plus Academy channel. Today <coughs> I am telling you about the roots of quadratic equation. Here it, it is a standard form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. You are seeing there is power means degree of this standard form is 2 so it will have two roots alpha and beta but from where have they come just i am showing you magic please before this i will just urge from my side if anyone has not subscribed my channel then if my performance execution of this uh, channel our contents are better then please like and subscribe this channel and share it to maximum numbers I'm telling you first of all let divide divide this standard form by a by dividing standard form by a we get we get x square x square plus b by a x plus c by a is equal to 0 further it can be written as x square minus minus b by a into x plus c by a c by a is equal to 0 right further you can just keep symbol here is equal to x square minus you know minus b by a is sum of roots alpha plus beta into x plus and c by a is product of roots alpha into beta is equal to 0 now open this bracket now open this bracket you will find x square minus alpha x minus beta x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0 now pair off for the factorization you can take common you can take common x from here and inside the bracket it will result into x minus alpha and from here being pair of you can take common minus beta again x minus alpha is equal to 0 right you know here x minus alpha and x minus alpha you take common from the entire structure x minus alpha then remaining x minus beta is equal to 0 and many times I have told you if P into Q is equal to 0 imply that first condition may be either P is equal to 0 second condition may be R Q is equal to 0 P is equal to 0 then 0 into Q बराबर 0 R Q is equal to 0 then P into 0 बराबर 0 R may be both equal to P and Q both may be 0 right like the same here you are seeing x minus alpha x minus beta is equal to 0 implies that either x minus alpha is equal to 0 or x minus beta is equal to 0 if if x minus alpha is equal to 0 x minus alpha is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to x is equal to alpha or if x minus beta is equal to 0 implies that x is equal to beta now you are seeing here this result alpha and beta why are two roots alpha and beta of x 
इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इजक्ल टू जीरो जस्ट दिस इज द मैजिक जस्ट आई हैव सोन यू हियर एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल्फा एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू बीटा दिस इज द वे हाउ हैव आई कम टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एल्फा एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू बीटा दीज आर टू रूट्स ऑफ क्वाडेटिक इक्वेशन ना इफ दिस माइंड कंटेंट इज Uh, quite interesting then please like and subscribe this channel and keep linger with my channel always i will provide you most of the most uh, exciting videos from my channel it's okay very much meeting you very soon with new exciting video thank you